Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday, and welcome back to Circle Time with Miss Roxy. It is a dark and gloomy day today. A little hard for me to wake up. kind of want to snuggle in with my puppy all morning when I'm days like this. I don't know about you, but our book today kind of is a good book for a rainy day. It's called Growing Vegetable Soup. So soup is always a good thing to have on a rainy day. At least I think it is because it's all nice and warm and just cuddle up and, and have some warm soup. Yum. So we're going to do this. I don't have the book. So again, we're going to do this from YouTube. I really like the way this lady reads this book. Kind of reminds me a lot of me, how I like to talk about things in the book while I'm reading it. I really enjoyed listening to her read this book. So very cute story. So we're going to go ahead and read it. Growing Vegetable Soup. Today's book is called Growing Vegetable Soup, written and illustrated by Lois Elbert. Dad says we are going to grow vegetable soup. We're ready to work and our tools are ready too. We have a shovel, a hoe, and a rake. We are planting the seeds. We have to wear gloves and we have the soil on the bottom. We make little holes to put our seeds in. There's green bean seed, pea seed, corn seed, zucchini squash seed, and little carrot seeds, and all the sprouts, like broccoli, tomato sprout, potato eyes, peppers, cabbage, and don't forget to use your trowel to dig your holes, and giving them water. We have to use a watering can to water our plants so that they can grow. If they don't have water, our plants won't get any bigger and waiting for warm sun to make them grow. The sun is really important for our plants to grow. If they don't have sunshine, they won't get any bigger either. So we need water and sun and soil. And they grow. Look how big they got. They changed. All the plants are growing bigger and they grow into big plants. We watch over them and weed until the vegetables are ready for us to pick. What do you see, boys and girls? What did they grow? I see something red. What's that red vegetable? Do you know what that is? Yeah, a tomato. Mm -hmm. Or they have to dig up some of their vegetables, like the potatoes, or pulling carrots out of the ground, just like when we sing our garden song and carry them home. Then we wash them and cut them and put them in a pot of water. Look at they chopped up all their vegetables. They're gonna make vegetable soup just like when we made our stone soup, boys and girls. Do you remember when we had to cut up all of the different ingredients and we had to put it in our big pot of soup? We might have to do this when we get really back. Delicious. I you think so. Such good helpers that day. And cook them into vegetable soup. Mm. Last, it's time to eat it all up. It was the best soup ever. Ooh, little glary there. We can grow it again next year. That's a cool book. I like it because it it shows you. Seriously. It shows you everything that we kind of been talking about um, for this, like last week, planting the garden, and talking about it this week. So you plant the seeds. And then when it sprouts, you put it in the garden. And then you gotta make sure it keeps getting water and the sun will help take care of it. And then when it sprouts, you get to pick them. And then you can cut them up and make stuff. Salad, soup, lots of stuff. And I think it's really fun to be able to go and pick it from your own garden and eat it. I think it's fun. At least I know that when I was growing up from my mom's garden, we used to go pick cucumbers and green peppers and we used to have raspberries. Those were the best to pick. So this is what we got going on today. So there was some potatoes in there. Do you remember seeing the potatoes with potato eyes were sprouting out? That's their sprouts. So what I decided to do today, and as, as we were listening to the book, I kind of had a thought of we don't need to just stop at potatoes. So my art project today is to make kind of a, if you have potatoes at home, 
make a, like a, a Mr. Potato Head type um, type character. And it doesn't have to be a potato, Mr. Potato Head. It can be me and Sydney made potato head animals. Mm -hmm. If you don't have potatoes, how about use, if you have bananas or apples or carrots, um, cucumbers, get creative. So this is what I made. So I made, I made this a little, got a little tail. Use some toothpicks. I had some sticker eyes. Made a little potato. You can see them. I'll, I'll put this up so you can see them a little bit better. See them? There they are. Sydney made a unicorn. Do you see her unicorn? You gotta see what she did to the back part. Look at that. I think Sydney had a little too much fun making her unicorn. <laughs> Turned out cute though. <laughs> Uh, what do you do? So I was making my potato head animal and then Cindy came over and started making hers and she's like, oh, I need to make a unicorn. And then she shows me. <laughs> Look at that. What are we going to do with her? This is what happens when you get stuck inside too long. We go crazy. So have fun with that. You know what else you can do? Find out what kind of vegetables you have in your house. If you have stuff to make uh, vegetable soup, today is a perfect day to make vegetable soup. See if you've got vegetables. Think about some of your favorite vegetables you like to have in your soup. I like broccoli and carrots, green beans and pea pods. Those are some of my favorite vegetables. That's what I would put in my soup. So do that. Also a good day um, I have on tip for today. Um, those dancing ribbons that we made last week. Have a dance party today. It's gloomy outside. Get your, get your body moving to some awesome music. Throw some music on, just the radio, or throw YouTube on. Dance, to dance, 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 dance. And remember, if you didn't make these yet, super easy. I used, at uh, daycare, I had a shower curtain, uh, shower curtain rings that I used. I don't have them here, any extra, so I used a zip tie. You can also use a rubber band. That way you can put it right around your wrist. And then I don't have any extra material, so I cut up some old shirts. Get creative. Use what you got. Remember, use what you got. That's what I've been doing. So, make some potato heads. Take those pictures. I want to see what you guys are creating. See if you can create something. Remember, it doesn't. It, you can create your own little creature. It doesn't have to be. And have some fun with them. Cindy did. So, have some fun. Take some pictures. I want to see what you guys are making. Um, if you make vegetable soup, send me pictures of that too. We might, I don't know. That sounds kind of good. I might change my mind, but I don't know how many vegetables we have at our house right now. I have to go grocery shopping. So have fun. Stay safe. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday already. Can you believe it? These weeks are going by so fast. Anyway, stay home. Uh, stay safe. <laughs> stay healthy. Uh, stay home so that way you can stay safe. We only have a couple more, a couple more weeks, a week or so before we can start going out and starting to get back to some kind of normalcy. So I will hopefully see you guys soon. You guys take care. Bye.